going on guys this is david welcome back to the channel as always remember to like share subscribe hit the notification bell i really appreciate it as always it helps the channel grow remember i'm not a financial advisor do your own research i am not a financial advisor but i do like to talk about stocks so appreciate you guys tuning in and you know remember to like share subscribe help the channel grow you know i really appreciate it we're not even at a thousand subscribers which is you know it's okay you know I'm, I'm just here to share information and talk a little stock you know i appreciate you guys feedback whether it's positive or if you disagree with something i'm all for it it's all good on my end uh well but this video hey i wanted to take a look into a particular company i've mentioned it before um but i want to talk about google right investing in google and why you may think my why you may uh should think about investing in google if you're not if you're if you're not doing so already so i just want to take a little bit look you know a little bit deeper dive into google just to see how it's uh how it's been performing and you know and just tell me what you think you know this is one of the probably the number one search engines no problem to it is you know people use it every day you probably use it every day you know five six seven days a week but are you invested in it you know is the thing so um but yeah let's jump right into it here just to take a look bear with me one second we're gonna jump into google finance because i just like to see how you know things are performing here that's what we're in the um in the game for right the the art of return so google if you don't know google has two um they have two symbols right g-o-o-g and they also have g-o-o-g-l both of these this, this alphabet which is google stock so for this particular video we'll look at g-o-o-g i believe the only difference between the two is one has voting rights and one doesn't i could be i could be wrong if you know if there's anything else you know let me know uh but google google man you know me personally i've been investing in google since 2016. 2016 is when i first invested in google i believe google was trading at um 500 something dollars a share and of course since then it's done a stock split so you know that's why you kind of see the prices how it is now but i've done really well in google over time and let's just take a look you see as of last trading day to 27 google's traded 165 dollars 29 cent over the last five days down slightly or you can call it even but down slightly over the last month up slightly only 79 cent six months up 8.56 percent year to date google is up 18.44 percent 25 point over the last year you see google is up 24 percent 32 points over the last five years here we go now this is where things start to get interesting right google's up 169 percent 104 points and we go to max here we go to max since the beginning google is up 492 percent this is why you probably want to be investing in google for the long term right up 137 dollars and 37 cents remember these were adjusted for the stock split uh but man that's uh that's pretty solid there i can't <laughs> complain about that think about if you've invested in something over time and it's up you know you have a return of 492 percent I, I don't think i would be complaining um as you see here you see the previous close you see that when it's trading in the last day the range over the last year it's been down as low as 121 dollars and been as high as 193 dollars See the market cap, a trillion, two trillion dollar uh, position or stock. Um, see the PE ratio, the dividend yield, because Google also now pays a dividend. And I just received my second dividend from Google, so that's that's another form of income. And I've talked about this on another video, right? You see the returns over time, over four hundred percent. You see the now you're seeing the dividend payout right and i have 100 shares so i also do cover calls so it's three ways that i i, I earn income on google uh let's just take a look at some of the articles here 
I ain't saying it's alphabet. Best NASDAQ stock to invest in right now. Possibly. All right, and then another article here that you can click on and read on Google Finance. Uh, and see, Google CEO predicts antitrust fight will last years. Okay, okay. Good articles you can possibly read. Let's go down here to some financials, right? Income statement. And you see, um, let's see here. Your revenue and your net income here quarterly. Then you have your annual. Always good to look at a company financial, you know, before you think about investing in. You see revenue. You see the year over year change up 13%. You know, the June 2024 was the last time it reported its earnings. Operating expense, you see, increase. Net income up 28%. Net profit margin up 13% year over year. Earnings per share up 31%. And so on. So it's always good to see, to look at a company's uh, financials. That's the income statements. Look at the balance sheet, assets over liabilities. Mm, see the cash short term investments down 14% year over year. Total assets up 8%. Liabilities down, which is good. And you see total equity shares outstanding. Let's look at cash flow. Oh, okay, okay. So it's September 2023. It's just quarterly. Down December, you see net change in cash six billion. See up four billion here. March up four hundred forty-five million, and June up two point three, up two point seven three billion. So, you see net income year over year up twenty-eight percent. Cash from operation down seven percent year over year. This is from the June earnings here, second quarter. Cash from investing up 74%. Cash from financing down 17%. And this is just a year over year change. And that change in cash. Ooh, that's a big increase. But free cash flow is down. So it's always good to just keep your eyes on the financials of a company. Uh, overall, you know, I'm a huge fan of Google. I think it's trading at some great prices right now to get in. But I, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, but if I wanted to start a position in Google, I, I think these are some pretty good prices to start a position in because I think, you know, over time, Google is just going to continue to run. Like you see, you, you see the you see the overall percentage here since, you know, the stock came about 492 percent in the green. So, but yeah, I just want to give an update on that. Are you guys invested in Google? Where does G-O-O-G or G-O-O-G-L, you know, it's, it's when you pull up the symbol, it's called Alphabet, but it is Google. I don't even have to ask, do you use Google? Because I know you use it. We all use it, right? So, but are you invested and do you think it's a good company to invest in? And for the people who, you know, don't invest in stocks, if you see a return like this over time, does that make you change your mind? Should you, you know, do you think you might want to look at investing in um, stocks or do you just prefer ETFs? You know? I don't think there's a right or wrong, you know, way. But like I say, I, I prefer a healthy uh, combination of both. And, you know, that's how kind of how I build my portfolio. Combination of strong ETFs and strong stock positions and, you know, uh, develop a plan to keep investing in them over time so but yeah that's it for today you know for this video and i just want to talk a little bit about google and are you investing in google you know leave me some feedback below do you like google uh do you prefer another you know tech company or um you know apple amazon whatever the case may be uh let me know what you guys think remember to like share subscribe hit the notification bell i'm not a financial advisor but if you don't do anything else, man, always invest in yourself. Find those extra dollars to invest in yourself so you can play the game, the winning game, the stock market game, the you know, um, the passive income game, the wealth building game. We should all be playing that game. But, but that's all for this video. I will talk to you guys later.